Dr. Reith, it's great to be here with you today, and it's really my privilege and pleasure to be partnering with you as part of the TCT VEATH Alliance. And so how are we going to be able to partner and, and provide better content for all practitioners in space? What do you see as the strengths of this alliance? The, the strengths are enormous because the reality is multi-specialties are taking care of vascular disease patients. And ideally, from the patient's point of view, the doctor should be as well-trained and knowledgeable as possible on all forms of treatment, medical, right. interventional, even some open surgery. Uh, and our alliance allows us to educate all specialists in these various aspects of treatment and management of vascular disease. And interventional cardiology brings unique assets to the table which will make vascular surgeons better doctors. And we think vascular surgery brings some unique assets to the table which will make the interventional cardiologist a better doctor and improve patient care. What about the, the future? Where is the future of interventional vascular therapy going? And how are we going to be focusing on that at the VEATH Symposium? Well, I think that interventional endovascular procedures will become more and more effective, more dominant, and be part of every specialist's uh, armamentarium to care for patients. The trick is to use it appropriately, use the procedures appropriately, uh, not overuse them, uh, and try to make procedures and treatment better for patients. And that's right. what we're both trying to do. Exactly, and, and, and our goal is to, to train all disciplines to provide better care for patients. So one of the unique aspects about our alliance is also to have our innovation sessions uh, adjoined uh, both at TCT and as well as at the VEATH Symposium. Um, how do you see that alliance and, and what types of innovations do you see being the, 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 the vanguard on the forefront? Well, I, I think my predictions of what was going to happen have always been wrong on the low side. <laughs> I think we're going to get better and better. For, for example, atherectomy, which up to a certain point was not effective. Now with better technology, the likelihood is that it is going to be effective and that it will be more durable and safer. Um, I think all sorts of treatments are going to improve. I mean, drug-coated balloons, drug-coated stents, uh, I, I think they're extremely complex modalities and we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg of the benefit from these things. So I think that plus all the computer-assisted um, technologies for imaging the, the vascular tree without uh, subjecting to the, pati the patient and the doctor to excessive radiation. I think that's an, a terribly important area uh, that we'll see enormous progress. And other computer-related simulations so that the uh, patient-specific um, lesion can be treated in a simulator and, and some of the problems avoided uh, that by simulation practice. Right. Well, that's great advice. So this year at the VEATH Symposium, specifically in our innovation session, we're going to take your approach and we're going to start every hour-long session with an, a case that reflects unmet clinical needs. And that's going to be followed by a panel discussion and a state-of-the-art lecture on what we know to date. And then we'll feature two or three new technologies that may help us solve those unmet clinical needs. So we look forward to, to taking your advice and, and showing people what the future might look like this year at the V Symposium. That's great.